Hey, welcome back. So, I was going to do a Unify version 5.1.0 beta sneak preview, but while I was getting ready to do that, the Unify 5.1.1 beta has been released. So, I do have a video recorded for 5.1.0, but we're going to run through the 5.1.1 set up and then throw a full stack on it and see what happens so first thing we'll do is we'll putty into our lab unify and I'm gonna remove the deb package that's there and then we're gonna grab this other deb package for the 5.1.1 okay, so the deb package is done downloading so we're gonna do a sudo sudo super user do however you pronounce that hyphen i unify I got distracted by a very beautiful woman in the room with me. So we're going to do the install. It's going to ask for our super secret password. And it's going to stop the Unify controller. And we'll see if this... Oh, it does it! It does it! This must be a new thing. And and I don't know... This has got to be new. I did a... When I did a... Uh, an upgrade from a 4.8.18 to a 5.0.6 it didn't do this so this must be new so I do have a backup so we're gonna tell it yes so it's gonna stop the server unpack 5.1.1 beta over our 5.1.0 beta looks like everything's there so we're gonna come back over here and refresh this guy and it might take a second I see the servers cranking away here all right, 5.1.1. So let's hop into the box race here. So let's take a look at the settings. So we can see they did add this routing and firewall beta. So now when we have a USG, we can do static routes. And now they've exposed some firewall rules. How awesome is that? Um, is there anything else uh, different here? Um, yeah, they did add some more portal customization stuff. Look, you can see you can change the, you can add a language for the, the portal. How awesome is that? Let's see. That's all the same. Controller stuff is all the s same. I don't use the cloud access maintenance stuff. You can see we're on 5.1.1. They did add this auto backup. How awesome is that? We want to back up. Uh, I want to back up every day and I want to retain seven days. I'm going to apply that. That was weird. Every day. There we go. We can add a time so we can go at 1.05 a.m. Apply that. So this is 5. So this must be GUI 5.1.1.1. That's a mouthful. So um, what I'm going to do now is you see I only have one device in my site. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw a USG and a switch on here. And so after I get those devices hooked up, I will be right back. Okay, it has an IP. So, ah, oh, 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 now, congratulations. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm impatient sometimes. I'm just impatient. So, all right, let's close that guy. And... All right, let's go back into the the uh, USG and we are going to do set and form and we'll do the uh, the IP just in case. Now let's uh, let's see if we can let's see what we're resolving here. All right, so DNS is working. Alright, let's go to our devices. Ah, and there, look at that. 
pending approval. So we'll go ahead and adopt that guy. We're going to pop this up since we do that. And we're going to go ahead and set that in form because they tell you to do it twice. And I, sometimes I like to follow the instructions. The light is green. So what it's going to do for the LAN address, see how it pulled 192.168.3.1? You're probably thinking, where did 192.168.3.1 come from? Well, where 192.168.3.1 came from was under the networks. You see where this LAN is, and it says corporate, 192.168.3.1. That's where that came from. So this is how you set the IP address on the LAN side. Oh boy, look at this. Routes, firewall, oh my gosh. This is exciting. I am so excited about this. You have no idea. You have absolutely no idea. No more JSON file editing for firewall rules. So, real quick, we're going to go back. And, oh, and now I have the upgrade option. So let's go ahead and upgrade this guy. And so it's going to upgrade. While we're waiting, we'll give this thing an alias that's not the MAC address. And it's gonna not do us any good because now it's totally rebooting. And I know that because we just got kicked out of SSH. All right. So Lab USG. So here's the building block for our full stack. You can see the WAN is uh, dynamic IP. The networks, so we got the voice over IP network at 192.168.2.1. The LAN network, 192.168.3.1. We can go into the configuration of this USG. We can set the WAN stuff. You can do uh, VLAN smart queues. Now, smart queues apparently disable hardware offload. So if you do smart queues on this device, it is going to have uh, an impact to your hardware. So just be aware that you could suffer some performance issues. Now I used to have a USG in the lab a while back. It kept these port forwarding rules from the last USG that I had. That's amazing. We can do dynamic DNS. Oh, look at this. I had that set up too, so I used Afraid. It was willyhow.chickenkiller.com. You can, of course, do a custom firmware upgrade. Or we can forget the device. We don't want to do that. This is such a lovely device. And you can see that uh, we are on 4.3.17. Just as a reminder, this is beta. Run this in a lab. Do not run it in a live environment. All right, so let's go to those settings now. And by the way, you'll notice I, auto I don't ever do this automatic firmware upgrade. Um, let's see. So we can turn on DPI. We could do a speed test real quick before we get it right now. All right, back to settings. Networks. See, we've got these networks configured, routing, and firewall. So here, we can do static routes now. Look, if you've seen my video on black hole routes with the edge router, this is the exact same thing. Fantastic. All right. Then firewall, look at all the firewall rules. Guest in, guest local, guest out, LAN in, LAN local, LAN out, WAN in, WAN local. These names, if you deal with a USG, you'll notice that, that the, well, these names should be familiar. We use these names a lot. So we could come in here now with a USG and we can do the DNS filtering easily no JSON file required I love this groups groups port groups address groups yeah I'm gonna officially I mean this thing there's that auto backup you can see we made an auto backup 805 p.m. we can restore download delete so uh, let's see what did our speed test come up with is this thing still running 
This is crazy. 101 meg down, 21 meg up. So uh, this is, like I said, this is the first video. This is the building block to the full stack. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe and come back for building block number two in the full stack, which is going to be the Unify switch. We'll see you soon.